Hey guys, I'm Ghost by Ghoul. I've been a player of this game since the first week of release on mobile, and uh, I just figured it would be interesting for me to do a um, an account overview of where I'm at now. What is it? Three months in? Uh, the game came out in like early September, or early to mid September, so like to October to November to December, and now it's like early to mid January. So we're about four months in. I'd I'd say probably about four months, maybe maybe just under. But uh, I figured it'd be interesting doing an account overview of where I'm at so far as a um, high end dolphin, low end whale style account. Um, I think I'm somewhere between. 3,500 and 4,000 Canadian dollars into the game as well as having played pretty well every day uh, since it began so uh, I thought it'd be interesting for me to look back at and uh, maybe some others to look at too in case uh, you're curious if you were to spend more maybe what it could look like or if you spent a bit less or just to compare in general you know so why not um, I don't know why I'm hovering over the twinkling star that's my lowest level weapon here my only three star so anyways uh i just kind of want to start at the top go through my weapons here um we'll go through the weapon parts i have costumes um how many gotcha tickets i've saved up and materials as well um but like my account's gonna change quite a quite a bit because actually let's go over gotcha tickets first because i've been saving up um of course weapon enhancement parts for Yuffie's weapons and then whatever I have left over if I don't upgrade everything to 90 I'm gonna um, get a few other things here that are sitting at 80 but I want to wait for Yuffie's weapons to hit the pool uh, once she comes into the game her weapons might not be in the pool right away but once her uh, weapons are in the pool uh, I've got six exchange vouchers sorry I'm gonna drop most if not all of these the reason I saved some of these, even though they're not for Yuffie, is because some of these characters' weapons aren't in the pool yet. Like, uh, the Zack's Twinkling Star, Matt's Bramble Spine, Aerith's Snowflake, um, Cloud's new Fire Sword aren't in there yet, so I'm saving these. We've got some guaranteed 5-star ones here, too. And, uh, so I'm gonna pull everything, and then, of course, I'm gonna get a lot of weapon parts as well. Uh, I'm gonna grab one of these for Yuffie as well but I'm gonna grab get a lot of weapon parts after that uh, and then I'm just gonna top everything off with um, what I have left over here and then at that point then I'll finally gonna use these exchange vouchers to top everything off and maybe I'll do another video on uh, where all my equipments up at at that time as well but so let's see here um, a lot of these are the free weapons, keep in mind. I don't really have a lot of things OB-10 or beyond yet, except for Bald Eagle. Oh, wait. Holiday Revolver's plus one. That's the only um, non-free like free weapon, I guess you could say, that I have beyond OB-10. <laughs> and then I got Bald Eagle, and I've got Edged Wings. Everything else in this area is all, all the free weapons from in-game. I've got them all to OB-10. Including anything that can go beyond OB-10 right up to up 20. Um, like all the summon weapons and uh, the Final Fantasy IX weapon. Um, oh, the holiday weapons I was only able to get to up 15. That was pretty random. I couldn't grind for any anything beyond that. But, uh, okay. Now we're going to get into our OB-9s. I only have a couple. Mad Minute and Prototype Crimson Blade. Um, great swords for, uh, <laughs> fire potency and physical ab ability potency. These are great just as sub-weapons in general for other people too, so they're, they're good to have. <clears throat> Serpent Eater, great for water. It's, uh, helped out a lot of my Zack on the back of him. Um, Shinner Blade, I thought this weapon was a lot better at first, so I was going for it on the wish list and stuff, but... Turns out, stuff as long as the enemy's not um, resistant to ice, then his edged wing still pretty well overpowers it with the elemental costume, in general. Anyways, let's see. Um, Sunbrella is always good to have. Everybody knows that by now. The magic ability, anything with magic ability potency or physical attack potency like this, just amazing to have as sub weapons. And of course, Sunbrella is just great in her main hand or side hand as well. 
So that's just an obvious weapon. Fairy Tail's great to have, of course. Kaiser Knuckles never went for this once. <laughs> uh, it's just one of those weapons that you just kept accidentally pulling. And, uh... I mean, at least it brings magic defense down by three tiers in a single hit by the time it gets to OB6, but I mean... If I could have got pretty well anything else, I would have. It's just the, the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Motor Drive, amazing to have, another elemental potency, and uh, one of Tifa's best main weapons. With a physical attack of about 52, you can't go wrong. Um, Black Rifle for silencing, that should come in handy in the future. A uh, good weapon. Pulse Gun, another great wind weapon. Um, I probably wouldn't have brought this to level 90, uh, but it's one of the first weapons I brought to level 90, and one of those like beginner mistakes. Um, if you're watching this and you're a bit of a newer player, uh, only bring weapons to level 90 that you use all the time, like in your main hand or side hand or um, sub weapons, and don't bring any of the free weapons. Luckily, I didn't make that mistake, but I've seen other players make that mistake of bringing like the free in-game weapons level 90 even if you can get a free in-game weapon to up 20 like its overall stats that it's gonna provide is pretty well relative to like let me find something comparable an ob like four three or ob4 weapon maybe let me compare the enhanced sword to like uh the shiva sword so enhanced sword it's only ob3 330 385 365 452 at up at at ob uh 10 plus 20 for shinra blade I mean, like, maybe, like, OB-5. Even, like, weapons that are just OB-4, OB-5, like, look at the how much magic attack that's getting in. Or Enhanced Sword. Um, that's a bad example. Like, just OB-5. Oh, I guess that's level 92. But still, it's pretty well relative to, like, an o somewhere between an OB-3 and an OB-5. Even at... OB10 up 20 just because these are the free weapons like they're good to have I say get all the free weapons max when you can especially the time sensitive event ones like Final Fantasy 9 one that passed or the holiday one or uh, right now we've got the until the 11th we've got uh, best wishes here for the New Year's event and um, Dawn's prayers and uh, I say get them all to max if you can, because the sub weapon, the sub stats will always come in handy uh, on someone's back when you need them for a certain fight. So yeah, get those if you can. <clears throat> Anyways, um, continuing here, Absolute Royale is another one that I just kind of never put on the wish list, and I lucked out getting as many as I did of, it, of these. I just brought this to 90 recently for the recent event. Um, because I needed three more points on Sephiroth to bring his Ice Potency from level 7 to level 8. And upgrading this from level 80 to 90 got uh, brought its Ice Potency from 27 to 30 points here on the Absolute Royale. And uh, on Sephiroth's back, even though it's Matt's weapon, I was using it for Sephiroth in combination with Edged Wings. And I was able to bring that Ice Potency up uh, to the next level by another 15% just by bringing it to 90. So it was worth it for that, just to get that better score. Uh, rest in peace. This is a weapon I never wish listed and I just got a decent amount of. And it's not even a bad weapon at all. Um, not that I use Glenn too much. I use him sometimes. More for like grinding stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a actually a pretty good weapon. So I'm glad I pulled some of those too. Uh, it's got that attack. Uh, wind resist, we'll need that eventually for maybe the summons, but who knows. <laughs> the, uh, elemental resistance are some of the, uh, some of the worst ones, really. They're very, they're very niche. Um, Radiant Edge, I was just pulling for that. And I was in my recent pull video, I was pulling for OB6. By the time I pulled OB6, I had 198 weapon parts for, for, uh, another one. So I ended up making it OB7. Um... Dark Heavens, great sword. Yes, I was going for this on the Halloween banner, so uh, that's why it's OB7. Northern Lights, this is something I was never going for. Um, but by the time, I, actually, I think I did use a weapon voucher or weapon parts, one or the other, on bringing it from OB5 to OB6, because I got six of them randomly, so it was sitting there at OB5, and with one more, I could bring physical attack down by three, which came in handy versus uh, the Iron Giant event way back when because Iron Giant wasn't resistant to physical attack decrease and uh, he provided huge physical attack hit so you really wanted to debuff that and uh, I was using Sephiroth um, in that fight so 
that came in handy then. Now this is kind of replaced with Kuja's Blade. Uh, you don't really need but I mean, it is what it is. <clears throat> I and EB, uh, getting this to OB6 for Sephiroth is just um, definitely necessary. It's got great stats, uh, HP and ability potency, and uh, you're bringing your magic attack up by three tiers too, so you can't go wrong. Black Whiskers, this one was a no-brainer for me. Um, I really liked Bl uh, Zach's Halloween outfit, and uh, getting the water resistant down. Any weapon that comes out which brings elemental resistance, I'm a sucker for, I just, I kinda want it. And even though this only brings physical defense down by two, uh, and only water resistance down by two until it's OB10, um, like this is where it's at right now, and it still maxes out uh, at OB, or at medium potency, water resistant reduction but at max they'll bring it to high uh, this is the only weapon in the game I think has been like this so far even Sephiroth's weapon at OB6 will bring fire resistance uh, down by three tiers right away um, there's a little uh, let's look at it there is a little um, conditional thing where his physical attack I mean his HP has to be above 50% I think yeah uh, for that to kick in, but I mean, that's pretty well always going to happen, so that's the little conditional thing that makes it so it can do that, as opposed to this, I guess. This I tried bringing, I gave her, um, I used weapon perks to bring it from OB5 to OB6 to try to beat, um, the Bahamut X fights, and maybe I was using it for Behemoth, um, B70 in the Battle Tower as well. But uh, I still haven't beaten them, and uh, then I pulled another one randomly to make it OB7. Uh, of course, I've been trying um, Cloud Bandage Sword and, and uh, <coughs> Barret's Agitation from Assault Gun in their own respective rights as well. Um, but this is just something else I was trying, like for each fight respectively, of course. Killer Hornet is one of those weapons that I'm, uh, I'm probably going to bring to level 90. But I'm just saving my Mithril Ore to see what um, Yuffie's Pool has to offer first. And then if I have anything left over, this is probably going to be my go-to one to bring it, bring to 90. Because it will get uh, its physical ability um, potency from 21 to... From 21 to 24, which isn't a big difference, but it might make a difference. Um, plus the stats too, and I use it on people's backs quite often. Never was going for this, but this is going to be nice, especially when we're going to need um, Magic Lightning. I know a lot of people have really good Marisalme Clouds already, because that was the first banner, and a lot of people went in hard on that. Uh, I, for one, didn't. I actually still don't have Clouds Marisalme um, OB6 either. Uh, it's sitting down here at OB2, I think. And I didn't get his outfit, that outfit, unfortunately. Um, one of the few outfits I didn't get, along with his Sailor outfit. And... Uh, <laughs> Matt's Killer Hornet outfit, but uh, I got pretty well every other outfit so far. Um, let me see here. But yeah, this is gonna be nice once a uh, Magic Lightning is gonna be necessary for either as a sub weapon or for all we know, Sephiroth's probably probably gonna get something too. He seems to be getting something for every element in regards to either. Uh, Arcanum or Mastery, which is 35% or 20%. I think we're gonna see something for that too. And speaking of that, even the Shinra Blade, if you look at uh, if you look at this, it's got a water potency uh, option for its third slot. So although it doesn't bring water potency up, if we got like a water outfit for him eventually or something like that, uh, this would be probably nice to have in main hand. Maybe depending on what the weapon co that comes with it. Maybe that's maybe that'd be better in main hand and this isn't even an option but um seems to have something for every element regardless so this is going to be nice to have not just for sephiroth but uh, also for uh as sub weapons eventually too <clears throat> prism rod um i went for Aerith's prism dress on that banner and then i stopped i got one of these back then and then i just kind of pulled the rest randomly and got lucky i wasn't really going for it Amarok's Quaz, this was a pain to get. I think I spent almost $700 on uh, the Final Fantasy IX Cloud and Tifa banner alone. And I wasn't pulling their weapons at all. I pretty much had to get four star copies of their weapons. I only got the free. Um, I only got the free. Not free. But guaranteed five star um, 
amaranth claws, whatever it came along. And then I pretty much had to use weapon parts for everything up to Amaranth's Claws, OB6, and Zidane Sword. The, Zidane Sword really hated me, man. I really wish I could have gotten more, but, um, like, <sighs> see, I, I used all the weapon perks I possibly could on, uh, on them, and, yeah, that banner was really bad to me. But, uh, let me see here. Amaranth's Claws. Yeah, as you can see, I used every weapon part I possibly could have. And I'm going to use more. Once I get 60 more Tifa weapon parts, this is going up. It's The thing is, with these um, time-sensitive weapons, you almost don't want to use weapon parts on anything else for that character. And it's a bit of a shame, because you'd like to. But knowing that these weapons will pretty well not come back, that's that's what you got to use them on. Um, lifeguard wraps, I used a lot at first. I used a lot for a few months, actually. The first two or three months, I was using these a lot. I didn't get them to OB6 till by the time I wasn't even using them anymore. I was using them a lot when they were like OB2, OB3, OB4, and a lot of content. And now I don't, I, now, ever since I pretty well started using, um, Amaranth's Claws, I find I don't really use these, uh, anymore. Because these are kind of either in the main hand or the side hand, for whatever else she's using for the most part. Or if she's got a magic or if she's using a magic build, like with her new Bahamut Claws, she's probably using, or, uh, or with her new, yeah, the Bahamut, uh, where, where, where are they? Bahamut Knuckles? I had her using, um, Kaiser Knuckles with them, because these are, these are magic too, so I had her more of a magic build, which brings magic defense down. And, uh, Bahamut Knuckles are magic as well. <clears throat> now, yeah, so ever since I, uh, <laughs> Got this, I stopped, I kind of stopped using this, and I just prioritized, um, Aerith as my healer, and even, and I know Matt's a great healer, pretty well comparable to Aerith, but, uh, my Cloud is even a better healer than my Matt is. My Matt, this is pretty much the only thing I got good going for him, and I've never used him in battle with this once, I always end up making him a healer of sorts, or, uh, some type of, um, buffer or debuffer, and this is all for, uh, sub-weapons, pretty much. Anyways. We'll get to Matt eventually. His weapons are all down here. W Machine, I just recently got to OB6 through a free pull, a free daily pull. I'm happy about that. Sky Splitter, I got lucky getting to OB6 and I brought it to 90 while I was trying to get to Radiant Edge OB6. You can see that in my recent pull video. Hard Edge was one of the first, was actually the first cloud weapon I got to OB6 uh, because I wanted that defense, uh, um, physical defense potency down by three tiers to high in a single hit. So I figured that was worth it uh, to get to OB6 for me. These I pulled all randomly and I'm happy I did. Uh, magic ability potency at 28 points. That's am amazing to have. And these were on my wish, wish list recently to help power up um, Lucia's Holiday Revolver. Magic potency in Earth. And uh, that's exactly what this has got. So it, I'm, I'm happy I pulled a bunch of those. So... Mithril type Okatana, magic ability potency, great to have. I was never going for these, these are randomly pulled. Gold color, OB5. One more and it's OB6. Um, when I do use red, which isn't very often, it'd be cool if I used them more, I just don't have good stuff for them, and it is, stuff has never really been a priori priority for me to wish list, except for maybe his seaside collar. Um, I try to go for those in the, the uh, sometimes there's daily quests, and you can, uh, there's little weapon quests where you can get weapon parts. And I was going for his seaside collar in those for a while. Um, but that's the only red weapon I was really going for. But when I do use red in actual battle, like little grind battles or whatever, I think I do use this. Um, yeah, because it's just a good AoE hit. It'll get even better in one more. I can't wait for one more of these. You can, throw, you can put it on your wish list, but you can't pull these in the gotcha tickets yet. Hence why I'm, uh... Hence why I'm still saving these Aerith tickets. Not the gold one, clearly. But, well, I think that's because I tried to pull, uh... Something else, but... Still got 20 of these holding on to, hoping that uh, I get some snowflake parts, or maybe another snowflake from that. I plan on bringing it to OB6 eventually, for sure. It's going on my wish list if I don't. That's why I brought it to 90. Grand Gloves have been surprisingly good because of their water potency, and they've got heal. Um, these paired well with Lifeguard uh, wraps back when I was solo farming Rama. 
I put this in main hand on Tifa. Uh, I made her a magic user, and I put this in main hand because third slot has water ability potency up by 30. Sorry, I didn't make her a magic user, I made her a physical user. Uh, because uh, Ram is weak to physical, so this help and water. So this helped there, I gave her Waterra blow in that hand, and then it also helped with heal, and she could heal herself and Ra if Rama single targeted Tifa, which he usually would because Tifa had the highest HP for me. He'd single target Tifa, she'd go down and she'd heal herself a, a super high amount, and also had the water ability potency for when she attacked. And then lifeguard wraps were in side hand for AoE heals for the party. Um, so yeah, she was like my main healer and could heal herself super fast for the Rama fight. That was handy. Speaking of water potency, we've got Orthodox Raven right here. Uh, this is great to have. HP is always a bonus. Uh, survivability is key. Probably the most important stat. Without survivability, sure, you can hit hard, but you're not going to get past the fight if you die. So water potency and HP goes great there. I just got another one of these from a daily pull uh, as well recently. <clears throat> uh, leather collar. Now here's we're, we're getting into stuff I don't really have much of anymore. Um, this is actually a pretty good weapon for a big hit. For red, for physical. And it's got earth potency. So that's also great. It's also great for as a sub weapon to help power up earth weapons. Platinum collar. Um, got a bunch of these. What are my weapon perks at? So only 25. Uh, I had 200 of these at one point recently, and uh, one of those over boosts are, are from that. Just getting enough parts to uh, build it up. Wiser staff, another great one for earth potency and HP and uh, AOE earth. This uh, almost follows the same rules as Sephiroth's CC ally sword. Magic attack and lightning potency. This has got the same dang stuff. And uh, it's also an AoE hit. It's super handy. Now, I think this weapon, it's hard to compare it right now. Well, because um, they're at separate, over separate overboosts. But the, wa the wizard staff for Aerith is clearly higher in magic attack and a little less in lightning potency. Whereas the CC ally, alloy sword, is higher in lightning potency and lower in magic attack. So keep that in mind if you're uh, wishlisting those or trying to get them for lightning potency. Uh, for magic lightning potency specifically, for sub weapons, um, one's got more magic attack and the other's got more lightning potency. <clears throat> One of Aerith's two physical attack hits. Uh, I got a few of these. I'll just go through the rest of it a little quick, quickly because, I mean, this is where I'm at, right? I got some of these, which is nice. Ice. Uh, these you get one of them every month from the Crisis Dungeon Shop. Uh, so eventually everyone should have this OB-10 in about six more months if they keep that up. This is great to have for Aerith, heal potency and ice potency for uh, Aerith's uh, snowflake costume with her new ice outfit. Seaside collar, I was just talking about that. I, mine's only OB-3, but I mean, it's nice to have because of uh, bringing the lightning resist down. I'm a sucker for that, but lightning is probably my weakest element at the moment, especially because I didn't go for Marisol May Cloud. Um, power is still great to have, magic ability potency. This, I wish I had OB-6. This is sick. It's it, it just hits so hard, and at OB6, um, OB6 hits eight, for 830. 990 there. Amazing. Amazing. Can't go wrong with that. Sedane Sword, absolute beast. I wish I could get more of these. Like, that is insane. Insane. It's a shame. Anyways. Attack, ice. I'll just kind of go through everything. Um... More quietly at this point. This is where I'm at with it all. Aim was to give you one of these for free, I think. Or maybe two. I only got uh, a few of them. Same thing uh, happening with um, Zwayhander. They give you one of these for free, and like I, it's still not very good. Anyways, Silver Staff, I wish I had more of. It's Super good for Sephiroth or any of your ice users because you can use it for magic or physical. It can be great for your Tifa too if you're building her. This, one of the best sub weapons for physical attack users. You can't go wrong with this. 
this is super handy just to use in general. If, if, especially if you can get it to OB6 because of the uh, magic attack down. Any any debuffing weapon is usually really good. Especially if it pairs well with good uh, R abilities like this does. Assault gun. <laughs> I want to get this to OB6 so bad just to get through Behemoth B60. I might be able to beat it before I get there, but who knows. After I do pull all those gotcha tickets when you feed weapons at the pool, I should be able to beat uh, Bahamut X1 and 2 and Behemoth. I just, it it makes me a little sick grinding it for like 6 to 8 hours every day for a few days in a row, and you're barely making any progress. progress. It's like, why torture yourself? You want to have fun with the game. Don't, don't stress yourself out, you know? So I'm just going to wait, um, because I stressed myself out a bit with those fights. Uh, bandaged Sword is still weak. Mechanics. And trust me, I do have fun, like, 95% of the time. It's just, like, sometimes when you're just grinding something and you just can't beat it because your weapons aren't good enough, um, but you think you can because of, like, just, like, getting lucky and the right strategy and the right timing for everything, um, it can just get super stressful if uh, if you're using, like, underleveled equipment and whatnot. And I'm just going to wait until I power creep myself a bit. I am going to pull another one of these soon. It'll be worth it. Just because I still have 118 parts, i got to use that. And then I'll get the wallpaper for this too. So I just don't have enough right now. I'm close though. Just need a few more of these. Uh, we're getting there. We're in OB1s right now, right? Yeah. Heart Sword, Zweihander, Falchion, Crystal Sword, Typo, Longsword, Junk Color, Sleek Color. Crystal Gloves everybody likes because... Uh, it actually goes super high HP, uh, and it's got lightning potency, so this is a good one to have too. I don't really have many of them though, but click through these again because I wasn't on abilities. So you can see what's going on with all this stuff. Okay. Flame Projector, Tiger Fangs is good to have. Iron Blade. And now here's where I'm at with just one copy of stuff. Bramble Spine's new. See, my prime number is still base, so that's why my uh, mat is not a very good healer. Wish I had more shock busters and crew kickers. Those are great to have for fire and lightning potency, respectively. This is amazing to have for uh, attack and fire potency. Um, this is one of those things that has more of this stat and less of fire potency. Like fi when you hit 54 in a stat, that's, that's awesome. And for attack, that's just great to have. This is a great weapon for red in general, too, if you use them. Um fire garnet's rod that's the final one of the final fantasy 9 exclusive weapons i might bring this toby to eventually just for the wallpaper bring a toby one first and then another 200 for ob2 heavy hauser i don't have the wallpaper for either but the, or many copies of but this is another one of those weapons that's just great and this can be used on any dps any attacker whether it's magic or physical because of its stats it's just an all-around great sub weapon to have for anybody so those are great to wish list too max ray a micro laser and then uh here's what i'm sitting at for my four stars but yeah so those are my weapons um as for weapon parts like you can see I'm going to get close um, to a few more and other things. So once I pull all these gotcha tickets, all the four stars and one stars are going to add up. And I'm going to get other copies of weapons too along the way. Just when I'm pulling because I have so many tickets to pull. Right? So, <clears throat> it's going through here. Well, how many knuckles? I can sell these. I can convert these for um, weapon parts. i got to be careful not to accidentally convert something else. Yeah. Or right, for weapon metals. You can turn those into grindstones, but I'm just holding on to them for now, in case I add anything else to the shop eventually. Let me see here. Motor drive's gonna get it eventually, that's nice. Mmm, <clears throat> Rama. Rama! We can convert those. I have all those weapons to uh, OB10 plus 20, so... Unnecessary to have. Hmm. I gotta convert uh, Lucia's Rama weapon and uh, Matt's 
Bahamut weapon when we get there as well. So I'm just kind of hovering through all the weapon parts that I've got. Shinra blades, another Shinra blades coming up. That that'll be Ob9. Hmm. Hundred eighty six Orthodox Raven, nice. That'll be Ob5. Bahamut Rapier. Uh, weapon metals. Ooh, no. Imagine I accidentally did that. I don't know why it does that sometimes. And Lucia's weapons. I like my Lucia. She's quite good. And just to show you what I'm talking about with all these weapon metals here real quick too. Um, 20,000. See, I got all the weapons that you can from that stuff to OB 10 plus 20, so everything else just goes um, towards this. And here's the shot that these get used towards. This is all you can get right now, so I'm kind of just holding on to them in case I ever actually need these, because I don't write that right now. Um, but if I'm ever in desperate need for them, then sure, that's, I'll use them there. And until then, uh, I'm just waiting to see if anything else comes into that shop. I think I've got a, over 1,500 here. Uh, anyways. Yeah, so that's it for the weapons. Um, as for... Let me see here. Costumes. I've got a lot of costumes. Can I, like, not do this? There we go. Got most of the costumes so far. <clears throat> this one looks cool. I really like the way this one looks. It's cool. The Froth Glen Cloud. The Sea Aerith. The one from the gear exchange, I love the way this one looks, and this one's super handy. The physical attack potency that it gives, um, this, this is great. Comes in super handy. I've got all of Earth's except for the Garnet uh, uh, dress, which I wish I had, but... Like I said, I spent so much on the uh, Cloud and Tifa banner that I had to kind of take a break. I went in on the Sephiroth one a bit just to get the costume, and I got one uh, or two copies of his sword, but other than that, <clears throat> I was a little um, burnt out from pulling at that point. Who else do we got? I got Barrett's gear exchange weapon, I mean, uh, outfit. Oh, Tifa. Tifa, I got most of her stuff. Maybe all of her stuff? I think that's all of her stuff. I don't remember missing a Tifa costume. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Forget. I got um, Red's healer outfit, the bondage BDSM outfit. I didn't get anything from Matt yet, but I might get his um, healer outfit eventually. If I can actually make him a usable. As you can see, I don't have him in any of my teams. He's the only person I don't have in any of my teams. Right now. It's because I don't have enough good stuff for him. The Killer Hornet's the only weapon I have for him that's actually good. And when I actually use him, I don't make him a physical attacker. I, so, I don't know. There's just... And there's better equipment than people I have to break Diamond Sigils, too. Like... Like Glenn. So... Or... Uh, yeah, pretty much like Glenn. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's all that stuff. So... Weapons, weapon parts, costumes, materia. That's what's next. So I got a little notepad of what I wanted to cover. Materia. Let me sort it by rarity. And let me also sort just by four and five stars. So I've got 12 of them. 12 gold ones. Let's look at all of them. These are like super random stats. Not all, a lot of them are like opposite stats of what they should be. So I'm gonna go through some of my best five star here and look at look at the poll. Look how many four stars I have, and I have them all maxed. 
like max level, even the bad ones. <laughs> you never know when you might want to use one over another. So I've just got like to have lots of options and I don't like ha having any blue. Unfortunately, there are still some blues that just have better than four star stats sometimes. Like, actually, why would I do that? Let me just look at this for a second. Physical attack. Like, look, this is up there. 4.8% physical attack, and it's got magic attack and HP percentage with some physical defense. So what a great 3-star material. You just can't go wrong with them sometimes. It's ugly, though. I want all purples. I want all golds. But I just can't... I just can't, uh... I can't give in to getting rid of this yet, you know? It'd be nice one day to be able to say bye-bye to it, you know? But, uh, until then, we need, uh... We need at least three triangle ruiner blows that, are, that have more physical attack percentage that are better than this. <laughs> that's how I see it so and and it's still a great stat stick regardless so I don't know eventually we'll get rid of it um but yeah let's look at these circle ruinra which has 5.1% magic attack and physical attack with 15 physical defense this is a great uh, great materia, I love it. Let's see here, base for Winra, some physical. Uh, this one isn't that great in my opinion, but it could be an all right stat stick if you need physical attack and HP. But I think, as it seems, I have better material, like at least three minimum materials that are better than this for physical attack and HP as stat sticks. <clears throat> Physical attack and magic attack. This is a great Waterra blow. It's got 2.8% physical attack percentage still on it. And it comes with 50 HP too. So it's really... I, I love this on my um, Zach's Black Whiskers. In his uh, middle materia slot. It brings water potency up by 3. And of course Black Whiskers brings physical defense and water potency down as well. So this is just great to have for him. And fire blow for, um, fires for the fire respective counterpart for Sephiroth's ra new Radiant Edge. This weapon's great to have there. It doesn't have, um, I mean, this material is great to have there. It doesn't have very much physical attack on it, barely any at all. Um, but it brings up some HP and 19 physical defense, so it's a nice material regardless. 1.6% magic attack, that's nice. Some heals. This is nice on, like, Prism Rod Dress Earth, but, like, I feel like she would just use the Prism Rod instead. But, like, let's say you're using Prism Rod Dress, Prism Dress Earth. And you just need to use two other things, like, um, like two other weapons, like Fairy Tail and Mithril Rod, or something like that. I've, and I've had to do this in the past. And then you equip this on her, and then she just she gets the Wind Arcanum bonus from her dress, and just uses it with this instead. Uh, now that my Prism Rod is getting better, though, it's OB six now. I think last time I was doing that, my Prism Rod was like only OB two or something like that. Um, so this what. <laughs> I don't know, it's probably better be better to just use Prism Rod at this point. Because I've got that attack bonus, it's at like 660% or something like that now. So, I mean... But, someone should be able to use this eventually. I, I know, like, even my physical attack wind users, like... Sephiroth and Tifa, with Motor Drive and, for Tifa, and uh, Dark Heavens for Sephiroth, are still going to be much better with wind here. This is awesome! 8.6% <laughs> heal, 2.7% HP... Can't go wrong with that. Uh, 5.2 heal. And all of this is good. This is useless for me. Just because I have other things that are better. For HP. Uh, Thundara. It's good to have the 5 star Thundara. Because of some HP. Not too bad. Not too great either. But it's alright. Quick arrow blow. This is what I was saying about the opposite. This was my first 5 star Materia. And it all rolled into magic attack. The great stat stick for magic attack, I use it a lot still to this day, but it's on the wrong materia. Regardless, it's still a good materia. This is awesome. Look at this Bizarro Blow. 7.9% HP, 3% heal, if you're physical attack healer or something. 5.7% magic attack. What a great stat stick in general it's got a bit of physical attack too not a lot but like this is a great stat stick in general and uh just great to have i was trying to get all three of the asunas because they're easy to get you don't need to use five star materia synth crystals to try to get a five star materia uh i mean uh, 
Yeah, because you can max it out at a three star, uh, a three star maximum, um, with only ten three star materia synth crystals and six four star materia synth crystals to try to get a five star of these. So I got one of them, and I got a breach as well. I think this was my second five star materia. I still need the uh, poison and the fatigue one though. I'm still working on it. Anyways, breach. It's a good uh, stat stick too. Now we're getting into my four stars. I'm gonna go through these a little quicker. Um, and I'm just gonna stop on anything that's like 5% or more. <laughs> and I'll stop on the trash ones. Like, look how bad that is. I should just get rid of it. It's so bad. Funny to look at though. 6.9% magic attack. <laughs> nice. No, actually though, it's pretty nice. Um, not bad. 8.3% HP, let's go. I actually have seen somebody with over 10% on an HP uh, once in co-op. So I just click on the materials and I'm like, damn, that's so nice. Here's a 5 star that they had. Um, that's not bad. 5.1% physical attack. I use this as a stat stick uh, because I don't really have a lot of physical attack stuff. So that's good. Um, another weak... Four star materia. That's absolutely bad. Mm. 2.1 heal. Not bad, not bad. Balanced. A nice balanced materia. Can't go wrong with balance. Magic on the wrong materia, but we'll take it. Some fives. Alright, I'll try to go through them a little quick because I got a lot of four stars. But yeah, this is pretty much the gist of it. Um, holy horrible. And yeah, so thanks for coming to my TED talk. No, I'm just kidding. Pretty tired. It's like 8 13 a.m. in the morning, and I was up all night as usual. Um, just got off work recently, and I figured I would make this video. But yeah, um, so I go by Ghost Boy Ghoul. I'm also on Twitch. Th throw me a follow and come say hi on Twitch if you'd like. I play this game whenever I can on there. And. Also, hit that like down below on the YouTube. Throw me a subscription for more Ever Crisis content. I upload some other stuff that's not Ever Crisis sometimes too, but right now I'm on this Ever Crisis kick. So you'll see, so, so you'll see a lot of that uh, from me in the coming weeks. And <clears throat> yeah, so thanks for being here. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. Um, leave a comment too if you'd like. Talk about uh, some of the equipment you've got or uh, some of the materia pulls you had. Speaking of talking about that, I've also got my own Discord with a few Ever Crisis channels. It's not very pop, uh, very popular yet, like the Ever Crisis portion of it, but I'd like it to be. So if you want to pop by there and throw some screenshots of your materia or weapons, I'd like to see it. Um, anyways, again, thanks for being here, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.